Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about sample space and total number of outcomes. So this has to do with probability. So basically a sample space is just the set of all possible outcomes of one or more events. So there is some multiplication involved here, but let's use an example uh, before we just say, hey, here's what we need to do so that we can have a little bit of an understanding of why we're multiplying to get our final result. So we have an example, we have some side dishes, corn, fries, and carrots, and we have some desserts, cake, ice cream, cheesecake, and brownie. So let's just say you're going to a restaurant and on the menu it says, hey, you can get one side and you can get one dessert. So we're trying to figure out how many combinations of sides and desserts we could possibly get. So let's make a sample space here. So let's say we have corn here, and then let's put fries right here, and then let's put carrots down here at the bottom. Okay, so now if I get corn, how many different desserts could I get? Well, I could get four, right? We could get cake, we could get ice cream, we could get cheesecake, or we could get a brownie, okay? So now, to save a little bit of time, as you could see, or maybe a pattern you could notice, we have those four options for all three of our sides, right? So what if I took, let's see if I can copy this here. Okay, let's copy that. And what if I paste it right here? Okay, now it's gonna be a little bit uh, overlapping. So let's do it here, and I can move my, my fries down, okay? So let's say I wanna move fries, there we go, just to line up better with it. And then let's move carrots, not that far. How about let's move carrots over here to the side? That'd probably be better, okay? And then let's paste our list of options again. Okay, so this, is be, this would be what an example of a sample space would look like. So as you can see, we have four options for corn, we have four options for fries, we have four options for carrots, right? So if we looked, that'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, right? So we have 12 different possibilities or 12 combinations for our choices, okay? 12 combinations. Now, how many sides did we have? We had three. How many desserts did we have? We have four. So what do we know about three and four that would give us 12? Well, three times four is equal to 12. And that brings us down to what's known as the fundamental counting principle. It says an event A has A possible outcomes. An event B has B possible outcomes. So the total number of outcomes of event A followed by event B is A times B. And that's what we saw here with our sample space. Three sides, four desserts, three times four is 12 different combinations, okay? So let's use this fundamental counting principle to do another example, how many different outfits can you make from six shirts, seven pairs of pants, and eight pairs of shoes, right? So all we have to do is do six times seven times eight. So if we do that, we are gonna get a value of six times seven times eight, 336 different outfits would be what our possibilities would be, okay? So that is us using the fundamental counting principle in order to figure out or to use a sample space and figure out how many possible outcomes we have.